Yo, what's going on everybody? This is your boy Ricky. How's everybody doing on YouTube land? Alright. Now, before we get on with it, before we get on with it, I got one thing to say. You've been liking my live streams and all that good content. My, oh, Hold on a minute. How many videos I got all together? My 626 videos, well, technically a little bit more videos, whether it's for my short videos I, I post out that I started on last year, or my live streams that I also started, started last year, or my videos that I also started on last year. Please do me one thing, if there's any of them that you like, please. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, turn the notifications on for more content, and share this with your friends. Because there's going to be plenty more stuff going to be happening on my channel right now. You see me doing react videos for a while. I was live streaming non-fucking-stop. And I was like, shit. I actually did that shit. So, yeah, I'm taking a little break. But I should be back streaming soon. Not right now. And for as you know, I'm not giving up. There's gonna, I'm just gonna be doing a different approach on here now, cause soon I'm gonna get me a PC, mic, webcam. <sighs> gonna get me a new headset and not and all that good stuff, so we can do more different types of uh, gaming. And we're gonna do gameplay. Let's play gameplay. Not like you've been seeing me where I play a lot. I'm doing a lot of streams where I'm playing scary games and shit like that. It's gonna to be totally different. So, now, after I got that out of the way. Now, remember when I told you about Johnny Somali got kicked out of Japan and who's banned off a uh, kick permanently? Well, I just recently found out that motherfucker is still in Japan. His band off kick is over, so he's allowed back on there. And he got arrested. Go check it out for yourself on other channels. So, I just want to say this is like, after all this shit, and him being racist and stuff over there in Japan, he's just chasing clout. All he is. He is like getting away with the stuff after everything with his little BS. I mean, I figured there'd be people over there in Japan that would kick him out because someone like that. I'm doing uh, bad comments and this, uh, all about the Pearl Harbor. Harbor. I can't say it, honestly. Pearl Harbor. And he kept replying over and over in other racist uh, bullshit. And it's getting on everybody's nerves. One, ones that's not from there that lives over there, or the ones that are residents there. And that knows how to speak English. A lot of those Japanese people do know how to speak English. Yeah, Johnny Somali absolutely, positively don't think that they do. He, he's just there just for clout. Chasing after clout. Clout chasing. And I'm like, after all that bullshit he's been doing for several damn months since he's been there in Japan... And the only thing he did was just a slap on the wrist of handcuffs and he was smiling his ass off when he got arrested because he was he was live streaming it. And everybody was watching and he was just giggling like a motherfucker. Sitting there and enjoying with the handcuffs on his arms. And I'm like, golly man, how the hell is someone like that allowed over there in the begin with. I mean, I've seen a lot of people 
been enjoying and this me talking about Johnny Somali recently when I did this. Seventy something people viewed viewed it so far. Seventy three, I believe. I thank you for for enjoying that video. I mean, to react to them. I mean, I ain't got no PC or anything where I can show you videos and stuff. It's best I do it this way, you know. So I wouldn't get no copyright or anything. I just explain it the best I can for y'all. I mean, I'm not the, not really that the best, at, but I do the best I can. So, to me personally, that dude shouldn't even been allowed over there in Japan in the beginning with. Not even his buddy that's recording all that for him. It's a disgrace. Making this Americans look bad with someone like him going over there. Playing some BS. And that dude is what? In his 30s. What was it? 35, 36 year old? Somewhere between there. Dude is almost near his 40s. And he's acting like a little bitch. A troublemaker. And I don't understand. He's been threatened. By the Yakuza clan. Where show where he was on his hands and knees. And apologized. For what he did. Then after that happened, he went right back and caused more mayhem. Right after, right after the Yakuza let him go. Cause he all he thinks it's all just for for fame. Dude is a small streamer like me, man. <laughs> At this rate, probably a lot smaller than me. How in the heck would someone like him be going to Japan and causing all kinds of bullshit? That is ridiculous. Going over there for what? Just to try to make yourself look good and making fun of everybody else's expense. That right there to me ain't nothing but BS. Now, I'm sorry I didn't really, like, read up and pay attention very carefully, but it did look like he got kicked out of Japan, but apparently it was just a handcuffs on the wrist. I don't understand why he's allowed to be in Japan. He should be kicked out of Japan. He should be made to come back over here. Maybe spend time in jail over here, a prison, to my point of view, because that right there is criminal. Going over there in a foreign country and doing all of that for what? Clout chasing. To make himself look good. He don't care if he, he goes around and makes fun of people in their own country. That is criminal, man. That makes him look like the bad person, and it does. I don't understand why someone like that will go and go to another country and know he's just going to make fun of him. He did it in another foreign country. I don't know, remember which one it was. They kicked him out. That's why he went to Japan. He's supposed to be a traveler. Traveling around, visiting different countries. Bro. That right there shows he don't need to have a camera in his hand. He don't need to be anywhere near a camera. Or a phone in that matter. Of any kind. Because... Any, any phones or cameras he picks up, he is just making himself look bad. All he is doing, it ain't making himself look good in front of the camera. And all his little 
goons in his chat praising him for it. Johnny Somali is a piece of shit and he will always be a piece of shit. And I don't like people like that because that's like um, making us Americans look bad because of people like him terrorizing and bullying people in other countries. I don't like that and I don't appreciate it and this is not the way it should be. And I hope he I hope he gets justice. I'm not talking about him getting justice. He gets justice for the shit that he done. And trying to get away with it. He gets what he deserves. Put in jail. And kicked out of Japan. And why not come into jail over here in the United States? Because this doesn't make any sense. Dude got kicked off a uh, uh, kick. And then they wind up letting him come back. Drake, if you're listening, dude, this is not good that you just gave him a 24-hour ban. You're a famous hip-hop artist. You should have kept him off kick, dude. Just saying. You're one of the part owners of kick. Not looking good on you letting someone like him on there. Because he's going to want it doing it again. So, I just wanted to come on here and just fix what I said a while back. He is on kick still. He got unbanned and what happened was he didn't get banned, kicked out of Japan. He just got arrested. So, I just wanted to come on here and re verify that and y'all have a nice wonderful day and I'll catch you on the next one. Deuce.